Hi there, welcome back to ADSR FMA tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to make that modulated pad that I had playing for you there. You can download the patch directly from the fmhtutorials.com website. There's a link on the screen. Click on that link. It'll take you directly to the website. You can download this patch. We're going to recreate it here for you anyway. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed already, it's youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. So let's go ahead and recreate this pad sound in here. So start off with a new sound. And let's just program this operator section. So, and uh, I'm going to use a combination of um, routing these operators through the filter and also directly to the output. So we'll start off with operator F. It can stay as a sine wave in the ratio of one. And um, I'm going to turn on the filter here, operator Z. Route that to the output, not full volume, maybe just around 78 should be fine. And F can route directly to the output around 65 and also route through the filter about 47 and uh, let's just set this filter up so we've got a cut off all the way up and the resonance down to zero and then um, turn on operator E next and we can route this to the filter again a similar volume at 40, 46, 47 and also E can route directly to the output as well. Be quiet about 24. And let's set E up a little bit differently. We're going to have a 1 plus 3 plus 5 square wave. Uh, the ratio can stay at 1 though. And also now what we're going to do is set, turn on operator D. Route this through operator E. About 11 and also route it into the filter. About 35, 36 and convert this to a square wave and operator C now turn that on, route that into operator F about 22 and also directly to the output about 78 and operator C just going to take that up to 2 the ratio so up one octave on that operator so quite a basic sound so far. We're actually going to introduce some noise into the sound. So turn on operator X and just push the amp of operator X up there and also the cutoff frequency. And bring the resonance down. And now that's root X into the filter. You can hear that white noise there. About 26 and also directly to the output. Around 17. And I'm also going to root operator E through X here. So... So that's just kind of that signal from E is running through X and just getting saturated a little bit as it runs through this operator X and then to the output. And I think that's pretty much it for this FM matrix and operator section other than I'm going to route F into E here as well at 18. And also I'm going to route C into itself. At 21. So let's move over to this master section now. Uh, increase the voices to two and detune them um, quite heavily, really. So around 59 and pan some of those voices out as well. So let's move over to the envelope section now. The sound will come together a little bit more in here. So I'm going to link operators F. E and D together and just quite a standard sort of envelope for these really. Just drag the release out a little bit. It's got a nice bit of release on there and operator C, we're going to actually sort of customize this envelope a little bit. So tempo sync it and um, we can keep it looping over this section, create a little loop in here basically, but it can stay on this section so basically it's looping over this 4 over 16 here check the mode to fix so we don't mess around with this end point and um, we can have a little bit of release but then let's 
pull that sustain down or this attack down and by right clicking you notice these dotted lines here that means we've created a loop already you can hear that looping over this little section so what I wanted to do was create just right click or control click and we can create these extra sort of envelope nodes and um, just have this sort of almost like creating an LFO on, in here so create something like this basically and have this point going up so it kind of like the sound of operator E will sort of creep in and fade away and then do the same thing over here it will kind of creep in again That. If I turn up the level here, you can hear that what that's doing with operator C. This is quite cool, you know, it's just like a bit of a modulation happening on the sound. And um, operators X and Z, I'm going to link the envelopes for these as well. So you can link these two and um, tempo sync them. And we'll do quite a similar thing, looping over the same section here. Just drag this release out with the mode still on fix. Just bring that sustain point down, bring the attack point down, and do a very similar envelope to what we did for operator C. But um, I'm just going to have this that one kind of point rather than the two sort of curves. So something like this. Let's just set this filter up in here, bring the cutoff right down to about a quarter of the way up and push the resonance up to about 25 and the resonance of filter 2 up to about halfway and let's increase the envelope amount to about 45, 50. So getting that kind of filter envelope movement, it's also being applied to the noise and then we're getting this modulation happening on envelope C or operator C even so we can play chords in here as well pretty nice bring the volume down a little bit and I'm going to push the velocity up here on this filter so this riff we've got playing here you notice there's quite a nice variety of velocities on the uh, on the hook so the the more we increase this velocity the more variation we're going to have on that sort of riff really so and this is acting now as a velocity for this kind of envelope amount so what we're getting is the filter's opening and closing according to the velocity of the riff, so we're getting quite a nice bit of variation. So let's go ahead and set up some effects now, really, just to finish the sound off. So, so for starters, I'm going to have a flanger and uh, bring the rate right down, sync it, bring the depth down a little bit, increase the color, and bring the dry rate down, and then quite a nice amount of reverb. So treble up, push the bright up, and that just really kind of adds a nice amount of depth to the sound. Also got this Marg EQ here as well. Just this is just a really nice EQ for adding a bit of air and presence to the sound. You could just use an ordinary EQ, but I just love the sound of this Marg EQ. So all I'm doing here on the air band, so 10k. I'm uh, just quite a big sort of spike there and um, quite a big boost so turn it off and on. Quite subtle but it's just lifting the sound up in the sort of high frequency so. Okay so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, I hope you found it useful. You can download the patch directly from the fmhtutorials.com website, there was a link at the start of the video if you have trouble recreating it as we have done in this tutorial. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Alright, cheers guys. Bye.